Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about identifying different inversions of triads using figured base symbols. So, why don't we do this in the base clef since we're talking about figured base? And we'll choose a key. Let's go for good old G major. So, if you see a G here, and no figures below it at all, so no numbers, that means it's a root position triad. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean closed position. Closed position would be like this. Where we've got the notes as close together as they can get. It could be voiced like this, with them opened up a little bit, and even stretching into the treble staff. But the important thing is that you've got the G in the bass. Now, you could also write this as a 5-3 chord. So you might see this with the 5-3, but that hardly ever happens, because as we know, the 3 is sort of assumed. We can assume that there are thirds stacked in there, even if we don't see them. Alright, so that's root position. Just a note, and no figures below it at all is the most common way. So, what's next? How about some first inversion? So, going back to G major again, a first inversion triad, you would see the bass note, and a 6. Now how do I know that this 6 means first inversion? Well that 6 refers to the 6th formed between the bass note, which is the 3rd, and the root of the chord. And we fill in that assumed 3rd, so technically this is really a 6-3 chord, but usually we just see it written with a 6. Once again, this could be in a different voicing. All that matters is that the 3rd of the chord is in the bottom, so it could be written this way, or it could be opened up into the treble staff, too. So just to review, a root position triad in figured bass, you'll just see the note in the bass, and no figures below it at all, no numbers. A first inversion triad, you would see the bass note, and a six, and that six tells you that the bass note is the third of the triad. Now, second inversion. That's where the fifth is in the bass. You would see the fifth, and then you would see a 6-4. What does the 6-4 refer to? Well, it refers to the sixth above, which is the third of the chord, and the fourth above, which is the root of the chord, if they were in closed position. So a 6-4 means second inversion. And once again, these could be opened up to be spread out a little more. But what matters is that the fifth of the chord is in the bass. So let's review them all. Root position, just the bass note, and no figures. First inversion, the bass note with a six. And second inversion, fifth in the bass, the bass note with a six, four. And those are your figures for different inversions of triads in figured bass.